Hi, uh, my name's uh, Dr. John Heary, and uh, you know I just want to take a, a just a few minutes here because um, I, I thought it was interesting. This is a, a headline that I uh, you know just read uh, the other day. It said you know four thousand one hundred and ten people dead yesterday, and you know that this menace you know put four thousand one hundred ten people to an early grave in a single day, according to the World Health Organization. You know, Dr. Oz uh, calls this the silent killer. Uh, Time Magazine says it's the fastest killer worldwide. So, you know, what disease am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about type 2 diabetes. Um, now, you know, there's um, three, you know, three drinks that will commonly, um, you know, spike your blood sugar. Um, now, there, there's more than these three, but um, these are three uh, common ones that people drink on a regular basis. And, you know, you may want to avoid them, um, you know, even though you think that they're okay um, to have in your, your diet. And that includes diet soda, low fat milk and fruit juice. And you know, today, you know, I wanted to spend a, a couple minutes focusing on uh, diet soda. You know, you've been um, you know, lied to that, you know, that it's okay to have um, you know, diet soda in your diet because there's no real sugar in it. You know, there, there's two reasons why anyone with blood sugar issues like, you know, type 2 diabetes or, or even pre-diabetes should stay away from drinking diet soda. You know, according to uh, medical news today, diet soda leads to weight gain and metabolic syndrome. This increases your chance of becoming diabetic or making your diabetes worse if you already have it. You know, first, it tricks your pancreas into thinking that it's getting sugar. So, you know, your pancreas gets the signals as if there was sugar, you know, now in your body. Um, then after that, you know, it's going to release insulin into your bloodstream. And the problem with that is that there's no sugar to, you know, for the insulin to attach to. So now you also have high levels or excess, um, you know, levels of insulin in your bloodstream. And, you know, this may set your body off to crave, you know, real sugar until satisfied. And often these cravings, they can be difficult to fight through, which often leads to binging on high sugar food, which then even leads to more insulin production. And insulin's a fat storing hormone, you know, which causes you to gain weight and become more insulin resistant. So you know, if you're doing this day after day and, and week after week, this is going to cause your insulin resistance to progress over time. This progression eventually leads to becoming diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. You know, the official diagnosis takes place when your fasting blood sugar is above 126 and your hemoglobin A1C is above 6.5%. Um, you know, some of the uh, early, you know, subtle signs of type 2 diabetes can include frequent urination, uh, excess of thirst, uh, increased hunger, weakness, fatigue, uh, pins and needles, uh, blurry vision, itchy skin, skin tags. Um, it, it can lead to, you know, skin infections, um, also uh, wounds that heal slower. Um, you know, some of the most common complications of type 2 diabetes include blindness, heart attacks, strokes, cognitive decline. You know, in fact, Alzheimer's disease has been coined type 3 diabetes because high insulin levels and high blood sugar levels are very toxic to the brain. Um, other complications include kidney failure, which can lead to dialysis. Um, you know, diabetes is the number one cause for someone ending up on dialysis. Um, another complication includes peripheral neuropathy, which can lead to amputations and absolutely an early death. You know, um, according to uh, uh, research um, that I that I read that was published in uh, the British Medical Journal, uh, type two diabetics have a shorter lifespan of at least six years not to mention that their quality of life is usually greatly diminished. Um, they also uh, published uh, good news as well. And, you know, that's that type 2 diabetes is in fact reversible. And that means that you can get off medications and you can get off insulin. Um, you know, in fact, you know, I've seen that to be the case with, you know, many of my patients that have modified their lifestyle. Uh, you know, some simple changes uh, include, you know, decreasing or managing stress levels, you know, making sure that you do get enough sleep um, and eating the proper uh, proper diet for them as well, too. You know, it's important that, you know, dietary recommendations, you know, that they be customized for each individual patient. Um, you know, if you've been struggling to normalize your blood sugar, 
um, you know, please reach out to us for help. You know, put together a step-by-step blueprint um, that helps patients to reverse their type two diabetes. Um, and you know, it's available for those uh, who want to live a better and longer uh, quality of life. All right. Well, talk to you soon. You guys have a great day. Bye now.